Avanil Kumar. With this example, you'll get an idea of working with improper fractions. The question here is, explain the product of following fractions with area model. So we have two related questions here. The first one is 2 times 5 over 4. And the other one is 3 over 2 times 5 over 4. So let's first do 2 times 5 over 4. So we'll treat this as length and width. So, so whenever we multiply length and width, you get area, correct? So that's the whole idea. Or you could also treat this as rows times columns, right? So to begin with, let me represent 5 over 4 first. What does it mean? Well, the numerator is higher than the denominator. It is improper fraction. It can be represented by two rectangles, for example, right? So we'll just make two rectangles. Let's say this is the first one. And then we have one more. Why do I have two rectangles? Since the numerator is more than the denominator, it really means 5 over 4 is 1 whole and 1 fourth. So that is one whole and this is one fourth, correct? Now, to give you a better picture, let me divide each rectangle into four equal parts, right? So this is half and half, four equal parts. Half and half, four equal parts and I'll select five of them, right? So selecting five means here is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and the fifth one. So I've selected five out of four, right? Now the question is, we have to represent two times five over four. So two times five over four means we have to copy it once again. So I'll copy it once again, right? So we have the whole thing here copied. So think they're exactly same, okay? Let me again divide them into four equal parts as we did last time and then shade five of them as we did last time, correct? So that is two times five over four. How much is that? Two times five over four is equal to each rectangle is divided into fourths, right? And how many fourths do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is 10 over 4. You can actually simplify this. Dividing both by 2, you get 5 over 2 also. So it could be written as 5 over 2. Let's now do part B. I hope the steps are clear. So we'll move on and do part B and see what difference it makes when it is not just a whole number but another improper fraction that is kind of important to understand okay so 5 over 4 is what we did earlier so i'm just copying that part 5 over 4 so we just made a rectangle made a copy of that divided into four equal parts Four equal parts selected five selected five right so it is one two three four and one five so that is five over four but since we have to do three over two as the columns not three is more than two so this will not work for us just as it was double so we had to do one more right so we have to do one more but select a part of it that's the whole idea so i'm just copying this once again so we have these rectangles copied so that we could do three out of two right dividing them again into four equal parts the denominator of our fraction okay selecting five as we did earlier four and one five and now we have to select three out of two. So what are we going to do? We have to divide our rectangles into two equal parts, right? So that denominator tells you columns. 
So that is how it is. Each is divided into two columns and now we are going to select three columns. So we'll select three columns. This is one, two, and three. What is common to us? Whatever is common is the part of solution. Do you see that? So what we have here is this, everything here is common, right? In this, we have two of these commons. Here we have half of it common and then one of that common, correct? Each one here represents, so there are eight parts, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each is one eighth, right? Each is one out of eight. So how many one out of eights do we have? You can count and then write down your answer, right? So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and one, fifteen. Fifteen eights. Correct? So that is how you can multiply improper fractions. With this, you can clearly see that when you multiply by 2, you're selecting everything like here. You got 5 over 2. But when you are multiplying by a number which is greater than 1 but less than 2, do you see that? It makes a difference. And I hope that helps you to understand how to do such questions, right? So here you will see that we have rows 5 out of 4 selected. So that is 5 out of 4, right? So these are 5 selected, right? As far as columns are concerned, 3 out of 2 have been selected, correct? So these are 1, 2 and 1, 3. And each rectangle is divided into 2 parts. So that is how you could represent the product of improper fractions and find the result using area model. I hope that helps. As an exercise, you can convert this to mixed numbers. So 8 times 2 is 16, that means 1 less. So it is 1 whole 7 over 8, right? So you could write that as mixed numbers also in your answer. Similarly, you could write this as 2 and a half, correct? So you could write this also as 2 whole and this becomes half. So it could be written as 2 and a half also. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.